This is a place for planting, for digging, for harvesting, for relaxing. It's a place to get your hands dirty, but most of all, it's about having fun. And that's what you'll always have when you're in the garden with Doug Oster. You want a green thumb too, don't you? Well, today, before we get to any real work, it's all about surprises and check out these pansies. I got them at the end of the season at Han Nursery. Actually, a person working there said, here, take these, nobody else wants them. And I potted them up in this container, put them in the greenhouse and forgot all about them. And when I walked out here and saw them in bloom, I was like, oh, what a wonderful surprise. Now what I'm gonna do, it's so nice out, I'm gonna leave them out this early in March for a while until it gets cold. Let's look at some more surprises. Well, I should have taken my own advice about these daffodils that budded so early. I was all worried that they wouldn't bloom. I was telling everybody, oh, let nature take its course. Everything will be okay, and it is gonna be okay. Look at that beautiful color. They're in the blush. I'm happy to see these are going to bloom. We'll see what the rest of the daffodils will do. I think we'll be okay. I've got a couple more surprises to show you, and one is right down here. Well, this is both a happy accident and a surprise. Check out these snowdrops. I didn't plant these here, yet it's my best looking clump. Surprise! We got one more thing to see, and then we have to get to work. We got an extra surprise. Here's that ball of twine I was looking for. <laughs> oh boy. Remember about a month ago when we did some winter sowing of radishes and carrots? Hoping these radishes would come up around St. Patrick's Day. Well, up they've come already, and that is our final surprise. The first thing we're going to start doing, actually, is thinning these out. Because these little things are called microgreens, and these will be perfect thrown right into a salad. All right, now we have to actually get to work. <laughs> these are going to be good. The whole root is actually edible with the top. It to tastes just like a radish. Mm. Mm. Oh man, that's good. One thing that isn't a surprise is this pest on this hemlock tree. It's hemlock woolly adalgid. The insect has been around since the 1920s, but it has really taken a foothold. And I've been watching this tree and it's just infested. To identify the pest on any hemlock tree, just look for these little cottony white things on there. It's very easy to identify. And we can control it again pretty easily with an organic thing called horticultural oil. We've got horticultural oil in here with some water and it's only horticultural oil. Don't use any kind of other oils. This is meant for the plants and we're just gonna cover the insect itself with the horticultural oil. Now, this is gonna be fine for these lower branches, but this tree's 40 foot tall. I'm gonna have to get somebody in here to get up there and spray because I want my hemlocks to thrive and I've got about 50 or 60, maybe more, in the forest above. All right, let's finish up. I did find one more surprise, this Japanese pieris that I forgot to plant last fall. Now we're gonna have to wait a little bit until the ground's ready for it. Check me out online, that's where you can find lots of other garden stories, photos, videos, blog posts, and you can find out how to win this book brand new called Garden Revolution. Hopefully it'll help you in your garden revolution. Now until next week, I've got more radishes to thin and I can't wait. We'll see you then. <laughs> That's a great ender, Rudy. Good timing. <laughs>